Maayong hapon. This is Attorney Charlie Mendoza. I'm the District Collector of the Port of Cebu. And welcome to another episode of BOC Live Updates. This afternoon, we start with a report on the number of shipments of personal protective equipment and medical supplies that were processed and released by the Bureau of Customs. As of last Saturday, last Saturday, the Bureau has processed and released 22 shipments of PPE and medical supplies. And this brings the total number of shipments of PPE and medical supplies that were processed and released by the Bureau to 10,166 shipments. Also, we are pleased to inform you that the efforts of the Bureau and the other agencies concerned to avoid port congestion have brought the yard utilization level at the Manila ports to even more manageable levels. For the Port of Manila, as of May 2, 2020, the current yard utilization is 75%, while for Manila International Container Port, the, the yard utilization as of May 2 is 61.82%. Here at the port of Cebu, as of 03 May 2020, we have processed and facilitated the release of a total 1,680 shipments of personal protective equipment and medical supplies. And likewise, as of today, the yard utilization at the Cebu International Port stands at 46%. We are also glad to inform you that despite the COVID-19 pandemic, despite the limitations brought about by the enhanced community quarantine, the Bureau of Customs continues to intensify effort against illegal imports. Last April 30, the BOC has seized smuggled cigarettes and Chinese medicines in Valenzuela. And last May 1, the Bureau of Customs, together with the National Bureau of Investigation, seized 40 million worth of Chinese medicine in Malate, Manila. This afternoon, we are also pleased to inform you that the Bureau of Customs is set to roll out the electronic cargo tracking system. What is this system about? As part of its thrust to automate customs operations and processes towards enhanced trade facilitation and strengthened border protection, the Bureau of Customs will roll out the electronic tracking of containerized cargo system or the e-track system in various BOC ports nationwide. E-Track system was established following the issuance of Customs Memorandum Order 04-2020, which implements Customs Administrative Order 15-2019 in, in relation to Sections 1418 to 1421 of the Customs Modernization and Tariff Act. The system shall enable the Bureau real-time monitoring of inland movements of containerized goods using an information and communications technology-enabled system 
such as the GPS-enabled tracking device to secure its transport to the intended destination. Cargos covered by this system are the following. Transit containers bound for economic zones. Transit containers bound for free zones. Containers bound for customs bonded warehouse. Containers bound for export. And reefer containers bound for second border protection. Under CMO 04-2020, all container vans covered in this order shall be affixed with an electronic custom seal or the ECS before clearance to depart from the port of discharge to the port of destination is given. ECS is a GPS-enabled sealing device or lock that is capable of physically securing cargo and providing real-time location information. The e system software platform shall be used by the BOC Peers Inspection Division to track and monitor the movement of the cargo that is sealed with the electronic custom seal. It shall track the goods in real time and provide alarms in case of unauthorized trips, tampering of the device, deviation of the vehicle from authorized routes, or other events that are deemed unusual based on criteria to be determined by the Bureau. The PID shall be in charge of the monitoring of the seeding and unseeding operations, authorized start and end trip of the vehicle loaded with cargo and monitor for alarms. The e system will be rolled out in June 2020, initially covering the Manila International Container Port, the Port of Manila, and the Port of Patangas. This will be followed soon by Cebu, Davao, Subic and Clark in July 2020. The bureau-wide rollout and full implementation of the system in all ports is expected to ensue in August of this year. The operations and implementation of the e system shall be supervised by the Deputy Commissioner of the Assessment and Operations Coordinating Group, Deputy Commissioner James Edward Dibu. Now, um, we have here some questions coming from our stakeholders, and we are glad to answer these questions. The first question is, good afternoon, collector. I am a customs broker po with some clients in Cebu. We are based in Manila, and we have no agent there in Cebu. We cannot book flights because of the lockdown in the entire Luzon. What are our shipments for to release? What are our options for to release our shipments? Uh, wag po kayong mag-alala. Wala pong problema sa pag-process ng shipment niyo. You can process your shipment online through the Bureau's Customer Care Portal system that you will see in the official website of the BOC. All you need to do is to open a ticket and attach the supporting documents. And we assure you that here in the Port of Cebu, we will ensure that your shipment will be processed as expeditiously as we can. Nauunawaan po namin ang limitations ng ating mga stakeholders at ito nga po ang dahilan kung bakit ang Bureau of Customs ay gumawa ng mga innovations sa processing ng mga shipments at kami naman po dito sa Port of Cebu ay gumawa rin ng mga homemade innovations or procedures upang madali ang processing ng mga shipments ngayong enhanced community quarantine. The next question is, I am a customs broker po living in Aga. I cannot cross the borders going to the Port of Cebu because the stricter border protect renewal of my accreditation. What shall I do po? Wag rin po kayong mag-alala. Wala po kayong dapat ikabahala. Maaari po ninyong isubmit ang application for renewal ng inyong accreditation as customs broker again through the Bureau's Customer Care Portal System na makikita po ninyo sa official website ng Bureau of Customs. Kung sakali naman po na hindi pa kumpleto ang inyong mga dokumento upang suportahan ang inyong application for renewal of your accreditation as a customs broker, 
meron pong ipinalabas na Customs Memorandum Order ang ating Commissioner na nag-i-extend sa accreditation ng mga BOC stakeholders that are set to expire starting last March 17, 2020. So, patuloy pa rin po kayong makakapag-transact sa Bureau of Customs at ang, accred- ang extension po na accreditation ay hindi lamang limited sa mga uh, customs brokers. Kasama na rin po dito ang automatic extension of accreditation ng mga importers uh, at maging ng mga customs bonded warehouses at iba pa mga stakeholders ng Bureau of Customs na binibigyan ng accreditation. Uh, ito po ang sunod na katanungan. Good afternoon, collector. We are a regular importer of fresh fruits. We imported a 40 a 40 footer container of fresh apples. Due to our limited manpower, we were not able to file the goods declaration immediately, which we usually do. We were shocked to receive an urgent notice to file entry. E wala pa naman pong 15 days since dumating sa port of Cebu ang shipment namin. Ano po ba ang dapat naming gawin? Opo, um, last April 2, 2020, and we have informed all our stakeholders about this, Joint Administrative Order 20-01 was issued. And JAW 20-01 has substantially decreased the processing period for importations. Under JAW 20-01, uh, importers, consignees, should be able to lock, file their goods declaration within two days uh, from the discharge of the last package. So ito po marahil ang nangyari sa inyo dito. Um, hindi po kayo uh, kaagad nakapag-file ng inyong entry. Under JAW 20-01, Kapag hindi po kayo nakapag-file ng goods declaration within the two-day period provided by the order, kami po ay mag issue ng notice of abandonment sa inyong shipment. Pero hindi naman po ito nangangahulugan na ang shipment ninyo ay irretrievably abandoned na. Meron pa rin naman po kayong remedyo. At ito po ay ang pagpa-file or paghingi ng lifting of abandonment within 24 hours from your receipt of the notice of abandonment. Tandaan po natin na under JAW 20-01, ang inyong pong shipment ay maaaring maabandon, hindi lamang kung hindi kayo nakapag-file ng goods declaration within the two-day period. Meron pa pong mga ibang instances kung saan kayo ay pwedeng maabandon ang inyong shipments. Maaari pong nakapag-file kayo ng goods declaration within two days, at ang kayo po ay na-process ang inyong shipment, na-issuehan kayo ng final assessment, which by the way, uh, should be issued within 24 hours from the filing of the goods declaration. At kung sakali pong natanggap nyo na po ang inyong final assessment, subalit hindi ninyo nabayaran ang payable duties, taxes and fees within 24 hours from receipt of the final assessment, ang inyong pong kargamento ay maaabandon din. Maliban po rito, maaaring nakapag-file kayo ng goods declaration within two days at kayo po ay nakapagbayad ng duties and taxes within 24 hours from receipt of the final assessment. Subalit kung hindi po ninyo ma-pull out or ma-withdraw ang inyong shipment within the periods provided in the Joint Administrative Order 20-01, magiging abandon din po ang inyong shipment. Tandaan po natin, na under JAW 20-01, for refrigerated shipments, you have 24 hours to withdraw your shipment from payment. At pagdating naman po sa mga uh, dry vans, meron po kayong tatlong araw upang kunin or i-withdraw ang inyong shipments. Ito po ang panghuling katanungan. Collector, magandang araw po. Trading company po kami at nais po namin mag-angkat ng mga personal protective equipment katulad ng face masks. Exempted rin po ba ito from payment of duties and taxes? At ano-ano pong clearances or dokumento 
ang kinakailangan naming ipresenta. Yes po. Uh, ang inyo pong shipment of personal protective equipment, particularly face masks in this case, is exempt from payment of duties and taxes and fees pursuant to the Bayanihan to, will, to Heal as One Act na ipinasa ng ating kongreso at ilagdaan ng ating pamuno bilang pagtugon sa COVID-19 crisis or sa COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, nais rin po namin ulitin muli na ang exemption from duties and taxes covers importations for commercial purpose. So kahit po for commercial purpose ang importation, ito rin po ay exempt from duties, taxes, and, fee, and, and fees. Uh, subalit, kinakailangan po ninyong magpresenta pa rin ng tax exemption endorsement from the Secretary of Finance. Ang tanong po, paano po kung wala pa kayo ng dokumentong ito? Ibig sabihin po ba nito ay hindi na ninyo mapaprocess ang inyong shipment free of duties, taxes, and fees? Hindi po. Maaaring pa rin pong maprocess ang shipment ninyo nang walang bayad na duties, taxes, and fees at marilis ang inyong kargamento at ang kinakailangan lamang po ninyong gawin ay mag-avail kayo ng provisional goods declaration. And under the provisional goods declaration, kung ano, maaari po ninyong isumite, submit ang tax endorsement certificate within 45 days from the filing of the goods declaration. Uh, patungkol naman po sa inyong katanungan tungkol sa mga dokumento na kinakailangan ninyong isumite, Uh, kung ang importation po ay for commercial purpose, kinakailangan po ninyong isubmit ang inyong license to operate. At ang proof of application lamang, kahit proof of application lamang po, ng, for certificate of product registration or notification. Uh, the Food and Drug Administration has eased out the requirements for processing of these types of shipments. Kaya nga po, sabi ko kanina, kahit wala pa po kayo ng aktual na Certificate of Product Registration or Certificate of Product Notification, enough na po na ipresinta ninyo sa amin ang proof of application for CPR or CPN. Uh, maidagdag po na rin po na ang mga dokumentong po ito ay, ay hindi palagi namin nire-require. Sapagkat kung ang importation po ng PPE, like face masks, a foreign donation or kung ito po ay gagamitin ng isang kumpanya strictly for their own personnel, hindi na po kinakailangan magpresenta ng mga FDA clearances na nabanggit ko na katulad ng license to operate at ng proof of application for CPN or CPR. Maraming salamat po. Kung meron pa po kayong mga dagdag na katanungan, uh, po pwede po ninyong uh, ipadala ito sa mga social media accounts ng Bureau of Customs. Uh, meron po tayong Instagram account, Facebook account, uh, at Viber account. O maaari po ninyong tawagan ang mga numero na nakikita ninyo sa inyong screen. So maraming maraming salamat po. At that ends our FB live updates for today. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and healthy. Dagang salamat.